Hi, I'm Marie, and this is my new picture plant tutorial, a really fun one to paint. In this video, I'm going to show you how I get this lovely curve and shine on the lip here. So, diving straight in, once I've painted in the green shading around the edges of the lip, making sure that I leave the white highlight running through the centre, I begin to add in these really fine stripy lines all around the top here. So it's important here to paint in these little stripes in the direction that they are curving over the lip. So each one is at a certain angle that will help to accentuate the curve of the lip and they gradually change direction as they make their way around the top. And once I've painted in a few, I come back in with a clean damp brush and make sure that they are softly blended into the background so that they create a more naturalistic texture. And then I come back in to the base here and really deepen the colour. So I'm adding in the darker colour here and creating the shadow as the lip moves away from us and turns under. This really creates a depth and three-dimensional feel to your painting. So I spend quite a lot of time working my way around the whole of the lip, building up these little stripes. Where the highlight runs through the centre, this is where the light is hitting the highest point of the curve. And I want to make sure that I retain this highlight. So I make sure that my stripes are lighter over this area and I even miss some out completely. So this really helps to accentuate the highlight. And then I'm all the time coming back in with my clean damp brush and just brushing gently over the curves to soften them in and to blend out their edges a little where they need it. Also, if I need to, I can just use my brush to push the darker paint down into the edge a little so that it's not intruding on the highlight too much. And then I come back in again and just darken up the shadows at both ends of the stripes as this really helps to show that they are turning over and curving away from us. So it really helps to accentuate the form of the lip. It takes a while building the contrast between the darker edges and the highlight throughout the centre and making sure that they very naturally and smoothly transition into each other. But it's very important as this is what creates the lovely curved form. So 
So I'm just going to continue now working in the same way to paint in the rest of the stripes around this top lip. I'm really building on my darker tones as I work my way around so that I create the contrast between the dark and the light that gives me this really lovely curved surface. And then also by deepening the shadow underneath the lip here, so really strengthening up this dark green. This also helps the lip stand out even more. So if you've enjoyed this video and would like to learn to paint like this, you can access a full length version of this tutorial inside the Watercolour Members Club where there are over 70 full watercolour tutorials like this one for you to paint. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.